In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on the iPhone 13 Pro using genuine Apple parts. Start by powering down the device. Once the device is powered down, take a pentalobe screwdriver and remove the two screws either side of the lightning connector on the bottom of the phone. This is exclusive of my new way of opening these without using heat. But what we're going to do, we're going to place it facing up onto the workbench. Opening these is super simple. All we need is a suction cup attached to the bottom third of the phone. If the screen's broken, the suction cup won't stick. Then we're going to get a single side sided razor blade. And basically what we're doing, we're going to insert it in the very small gap at the very bottom of the phone. And I'm going to put it like that flat and then I'm gonna push down. With that inserted flat at the bottom of the phone like that, we're gonna add a bead of isopropyl alcohol. And then the sort of motion that I'm going for is lifting up with this. So I'm gonna be like almost hit, pivoting this and then pulling back on the blade all at the same time. And what that's gonna allow us to do is lift the screen off just a little bit. It's gonna it's going to almost like pop out like that look see how that just like popped out i don't think this has been opened before but it just shows how easy it is to get it off using this method rather than warming it up the reason that i don't warm them up anymore is because i found that the risk of the screen frame separating from the oled and the glass is much higher when it's warmed up so i just use no heat a little bit of alcohol and it works perfectly now i'm going to run a bead of alcohol all the way down that edge and the opposite edge and i'm just going to run this plastic pick that i've inserted stick it in a couple of millimeters and you can see how easy this is peeling away now another benefit of opening the screens up this way is you'll see that the adhesive is fairly uninterrupted so if you did feel like you wanted to reuse the adhesive you could technically stick the screen straight back down on this one now i know what you're going to say that this screen will have a green line on it or something but just for your information it's fine there's there's a big black blotch under the blue thing no i'm joking oh. you know no one will believe me now that crack was already there but let me show you look the screen's in fine condition uh it works perfectly well we'll turn it back off though now that we're into the device, the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little prop behind the screen to stop it from falling over because I did take off the suction cup. I normally leave the suction cup attached and let that be the rest, but because I was proving that it's not broken, I've took it off. I'm going to add a few drops of isopropyl alcohol all around the battery and let that soak in while we remove the screen. Removing the screen is very simple. You've got three tri-wing screws just here holding down the bracket for the battery cover and the screen connector. One of those screws is a little bit loose. Use tweezers to lift the shield up and a plastic spudger to disconnect first of all the battery, then the display connector. Moving up to the top of the logic board now, you've got two more tri-wing screws and that's on the bottom of this sort of funny shaped shield. And then you've got two crosshead screws, unusually. Just go ahead and remove those. Keep them organized in the same way that you removed them so that you know where they're going at the end of the job when you're putting it all back together because they are all different sizes. Now we use the tweezers again to lift the shield. When you're lifting this, just be careful because it, it, it can sometimes snag on that little bit of cable there. So be careful not to snag that and then use the plastic spudger again to disconnect that little cable there. Now we can remove that screen. Just lifting it away like that, and we'll put that to one side for reinstallation later. Whilst that alcohol carries on soaking in around the battery, I'm going to clean up this frame so that it's ready for a new adhesive. So whilst that alcohol is soaking into the battery there, I'm going to clean up the adhesive that sits around the edge so that we can replace that in a little minute. And to do that, I'm going to use one of these number four X-Acto blades, and I'm basically just going to scrape off all the adhesive from around the edge. Just be careful around any areas where I've got the cables uh, or the cameras when you're removing this. Another advantage of not heating up this adhesive means that it's a bit more workable rather than turning into like a, a hot mess, which is literally what it, what it just turns 
dead gloopy and crap. Now that we've got all the adhesive removed, I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and a Q-tip or cotton bud. And I'm just going to run it all the way along the edges. And you can see, look how dirty that is. That's all coming off at the, the edge there. That's not adhesive, by the way. That's just grot and dirt that gets caught in that edge. Um, I much prefer using the Q-tip now rather than the brush because it doesn't brush shit all over the place. So I'm just going to go around again as well, uh, just to get any of the last of it off. It really does build up on these. So that's it, that's nice and clean. Now, the alcohol that we put under the battery should have soaked in nicely now. I've pretty much given up on trying to pull battery tabs out. Instead, opt in for a, quite a simple stick the pick under it and pry it up. Usually on most phones, there's like a, a good bit of metal just here, which is a, a nice little prime point. So you get the get the pick, pop it under there, and you can see the battery's on the move, and it's just going to come out dead easy. Um, the adhesive on these is pretty shoddy on the on the top. Like I'll show you how much adhesive they put on this in a minute. Um, but yeah, once you got under it, you'll find it comes out real quite easy. Not difficult at all. So that's that old battery removed. Make sure that you dispose of this using your local recycling instructions before we get the new part out. I made a bit of a mess there, aren't I, on the old carbon stuff? They don't usually pop out that bad or leave a mess like that, but maybe the alcohol's worn that out. Let's just tidy it up, make it look a bit neater. And then we'll probably just cut that bit out and pretend it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to leave a honest and sincere job. Right, I'm just gonna grab hold of the adhesive with the tweezers. and pull off the remaining bit of it. Same on this bit, there's three, usually three bits left over. Trying to do it in one is the trick, I suppose. So, yeah, that's looking good. If you've got any leftover bits of adhesive on there that you want off, just get your Q-tip with some alcohol and give it a little wipe, whatever you need to do. Just make sure it's nice and clean. This surface is going to receive the new battery on there. Um, so it does want to be clean. Now, somebody will moan at me about that, but I'm not. I'm really not worried about that. It's, it's some carbon um, sort of papery stuff that is used to disperse heat from the back of the battery. That little bit of tear is going to affect absolutely nothing. So I'm not worried about that at all. Sometimes these things get, get marked up during repair. That's how it goes. And I, yeah, you might say, oh, you're just making excuses, but I'm not, I'm not talking crap. This is the genuine Apple service pack battery that we'll be gonna be using. I'm gonna open it up. Inside it, you'll get one of these sheets with all the screws on it, which, I mean, we don't really use. They can go straight in the bin. And the battery. The battery will look a little bit funny. It's got this big white cardboard sheet on it. This basically acts as a spacing block so that you line it up perfectly inside the phone. I'll show you how it works right now. I'm gonna peel off the pink sheet because this is ready to go straight in. And then we're gonna line it up. That, that lines up there and then this lines up touching this side. And as long as they're touching, then I'm gonna say that, that I bet that battery connector is lined up almost bang on perfect with where it's gonna plug in. It means that you don't need to line it up, mess about with it, damage anything lining it up. It just works really well. And then you pull on these little black tabs and it's got a little bit of adhesive on it. Pull that adhesive out and the battery is sat in. You're meant to push on it. Apple have a little tool what like rolls on it. If you wanted, you could use like a wallpaper roller and do the same thing. But to be honest, a bit of pressure with your hands and a bit of common sense, although it's lacking these days, Surely you can just go, <laughs> like I said, that bit of cardboard comes off and the battery is, like I say, perfectly installed. Amazing. Can you believe it? That's it. Now, my only little complaint about the um, genuine batteries is that it doesn't come with a adhesive. Fortunately, we keep adhesives in stock, but if you are buying one of these parts, bear in mind that you can buy it from our video sponsor, Mobile Centrix, and 
They, this, this battery has literally been out of stock everywhere for ages. The genuine iPhone 13 Pro battery. Even Apple ran out of batteries for this one. Mobile Century's got it in first and we bought a boatload of them. They rang me as soon as it came back in stock. I think they imported them from America. I don't know what the crack was, but they got these batteries in and they were very helpful. They also sell these steel seals. They're about 50 pence to a pound each. Obviously you have to pay delivery on top of that, but they work perfectly. Line it up in the top left corner, line it up along the left hand edge, and then it all follows suit all the way around the edges there. Nice and easy. That's installed. What you want to do next is get the plastic spudger and you're going to really push down on that edge. Make sure that it's sat in perfectly, nice and flush, pushing it down, making sure it's sat in place. With that, you can peel that off and we're looking pretty good. Now we just have to put the screen back on. Just make sure that your battery is not connected before you stick the screen in place. And then we're gonna offer it up, connect the screen. Let's put the weighted object behind it now so that it props up. And then we can reconnect this connector up the top here. I'm gonna push down on there, make sure that it's all plugged in. And then we go back down and reconnect the battery. Just got the screen to re-secure now, so we've got that shield what goes there, and the three tri-wing screws that held it down. All three of these ones are actually the same size, so you don't have to worry too much about that one. But it's the top shield where they are all different screws of all different sizes, so just be aware. Once these three screws are in, we will move up to the top now. And then remember how it was a little bit awkward and you had to sort of maneuver it around that cable. Just make sure that you do that. Lay it down flat, holding it with your finger like that. And then the longest of these four screws is this long crosshead screw that goes in the top right corner of all this little block. Then you've got the other crosshead screw which goes in the top left. You're not gonna break anything if you put either of those two in the wrong ones, but just make sure it's good phone repair etiquette to put them in the right place, isn't it? If you put one of those screws in one of these ones, then you are gonna break something, so just be careful. Finally, the last of those tri-wing screws, just there, and we're gonna zoom out. You know what, what have I done? I've got like a real greasy fingerprint on there. I didn't have greasy fingers until I just touched that phone. I've not left a greasy fingerprint all over the phone until I've just touched another phone. Right, remove fingerprints, and then we're gonna lift off the final layer of the the final bit of blue film on the adhesive around the edges. Just be careful when you're pulling that off because it does have a tendency to sort of bring the adhesive with it. That means that it's not stuck down perfectly. Um, and all you need to do is just run your tweezers or plastic spudger over it again and it'll come away. Fold the screen down, peel off the last of it. And then in terms of reconnecting, reinstalling the screen, Make sure it goes in the top first, so nice and flat up there. Push it down along these edges. And then the bottom bit, you just have to push it down, squeeze it in. Install these two last screws. And I'm not gonna turn the phone on just yet because I'm working at 100% maximum efficiency. So now that the battery's been installed, we're gonna press and hold the up volume button and the down volume button at the same time as we plug it into a PD cable, power delivery cable and then we should get the Apple logo any second now. Now that we've got the Apple logo, we can release our fingers off the buttons and this should bump the phone into diagnostics mode. Now that it's in diagnostic and repair mode, we're gonna connect it to Wi-Fi. Once we're in, it should give us the option to finish the battery repair. Couple of troubleshooting notes, if it's not 20% battery or it's not up to date on the latest iOS, it will not allow you to configure the repair. In this case, I don't think that this one's up to date on the latest iOS because it's not letting us configure it. What we'll do with this is get the customer back and then we'll, we'll finish the repair there. But these are genuine batteries. There should be no issue with it connecting. That's how we replace the battery on the iPhone 13 Pro. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.